Hi, this is Elijah with the Oxygen Team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create some animated progress bar style elements that animate when they are scrolled into the viewport. So here's an example I've set up of what we're going to build. As we scroll down, you can see that these progress bars animate into view one after the other. If we scroll back up, they animate out. These are really simple to set up in Oxygen thanks to our powerful styling capabilities and the inclusion of the Animate on Scroll library. So let's jump over to the builder and get started. So here in Oxygen, I'm going to start building these animated progress bars. And they're going to go in this second section just below this heading, divider, and text. Now before I even start building these types of things, I like to consider what elements am I going to need. In this case, I need one div to act as the container, one div to act as the fill that scrolls across the container, and one text element to be the label that is revealed as the fill scrolls across. So when I'm working on building elements in Oxygen, I often like to conceptualize the elements I need and then go ahead and drop them in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Add and add a div. This will be the container. And we'll go ahead and add a class and call this progress-bar-container. And then we'll add another div within that div. And we'll call this progress-bar-fill. And the reason we're adding classes to these elements is because we're going to have a few of them on the page. And if they all have the same class, then any styling changes we make to one will also affect the others. So let's add that class. And then let's add our text. And this is just going to be a text element. And this is going to be called progress dash bar dash label. Let's add that. Now we've got three elements that make up our little animated progress bar. If we look over here in the structure pane, we're going to be working with this bottom div. So let's rename this progress bar. It makes it a little easier to identify this later when we're looking through the structure trying to find something. So let's expand this. We have a div, which is our container, called progress bar. Then another subdiv, which is the fill. And we can go ahead and rename this as well. And then we have our text element, which right now is inside the fill div, which we do not want. So we want to go ahead and move this text up out of there. And so now our basic layout is done. And we just have to style these elements up to look correct. So we'll start with the container. The progress bar container is going to need to be set to some width We'll just do 100% width. On a page like this, you might also want to contain the width to a more narrow value, but we'll adjust this later if we want to. It does not need a background color, but it does need some layout settings. So we're going to go to Advanced, Layout, and we're going to find Position and set it to Relative. This is because our text label is going to be absolutely positioned within this container. And in order for a child element to be absolutely positioned relative to its parent, the parent has to be set to position relative. That's something that's really good to remember as you start diving into more complex layouts because early on, I always used to fight with absolute positioning until I realized, hey, set the parent to relative and everything works exactly as you'd expect. So now that we've got that, we also want to set the overflow to hidden. And that's because our fill element is going to be sliding in from the left-hand side, and we don't want it to be visible until it's inside the parent container. And then one final setting we want on the container is going to be under Advanced Borders, Border Radius. And we're just going to set an 8-pixel border radius. We want this to be nice and smooth and rounded when everything's filled up. So that will help us achieve that effect. Now we can move on to the fill div. Now this div requires a little bit more styling. So we're going to want to set it to 100% width so that it's the same width as its container. And then we're also going to want to go to advanced borders and set it to an 8 pixel border radius. And finally, I believe we want to add a gradient to this. So we'll go to background, gradient, and we'll add a couple of colors here. Let's go with this light purple and this pinkish color here. And then let's set the angle to something like negative 120 to give us a nice fade across the length of that fill element. 
Now, because this is a div, you could also put in a background image or an SVG pattern or anything else you want within this div and it would look fantastic. Now, the final piece of the puzzle for this is the animation. So we're going to want to go to Advanced, Effects, Animate on Scroll, and Enable Animation for this element. We're going to choose a Slide Right animation, but you could do any of these animations and it might look okay, but Slide Right's kind of what we expect for a progress bar. There we go. And then for this, we probably want it to be quite a bit slower. So let's just preview that again. There we go. And that's a nice smooth animation. Now, the final thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and adjust our text. But because this text is going to be absolutely positioned, and it can be kind of tricky to change the text once it's set up that way. We're going to go ahead and change the text for all of our progress bar elements before positioning them. So we're going to go in here and say power and flexibility 100%. And then we're also going to want to change the font size to something like maybe 24 pixels. And the font weight, we're going to make it pretty bold. And we'll change the color and the position on this here in a minute. So now that we have that kind of precursor stuff set up, we're going to want to go ahead and duplicate this container a couple times. So now we have four progress bars. And you can see that they're sitting pretty close to each other, and we don't want that. So since we're using a class, we don't have to go through and change each one. We have the progress bar container class selected. So we just need to go to advanced size and spacing, and add something like a 32 pixel bottom margin. And that'll go ahead and spread everything out evenly. Now let's go through here and change these text elements to say different things. So this is going to say clean code and no bloat. This is going to say freedom from themes. And this is going to say great support. So now that we have everything typed up that we want, we can go ahead and get these text elements handled. But the first thing we need to do is select the container. And we're going to want to go ahead and set everything to be nice and centered. So we can choose stack child elements horizontally, choose middle and center. Now we need to go through and style our text elements. So these are going to become white which means they'll disappear on us there for a minute, but that's okay. So then we need to go to advanced layout position absolute, and that's going to move them right on over, over top of that fill. Then we probably also want to set the Z index to something like a hundred to make sure it doesn't end up under that fill. Now, finally, we do want to give some height to our fill div. Uh, I know it looks like we have height, but that's because oxygen forces divs to be at least 80 pixels high and wide, and that's so that you don't lose the divs when you're building. So we'll select one of these fill divs, and we have our width, so we want to go to advanced size and spacing, and we'll just set this to 80 pixels height. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have on the front end here. We'll have to refresh this since we've made some changes. And as we scroll down, you'll see these animate in very nicely. Now, I'm really happy with how this came out, but we might want to make some other adjustments here. So let's go in and make these a little more narrow. So we'll go back to the builder and we're going to select the progress bar container. And we're going to change the width to something like, let's say, 75%. That looks pretty nice. Now, assuming we don't want the progress bar to fill up 100% because, let's face it, we can't all be perfect, we can actually adjust the right side padding on this container. So let's go to Advanced, Size and Spacing, and let's add something like 30 pixels right padding. As you can see, it's going to adjust that final resting point of the progress bar element. Now, because we have a class, this is affecting all of our elements. But if we wanted this to only affect, say, one of our elements, we can clear that out on the class, and we can select the progress bar that we don't want to have at 100%, and we can go up and select the ID, and then we can add the padding there. So let's add like 150 pixels of padding there. 
Okay, so now let's save that and we'll jump into the front end and see what our final adjustments look like. And as we scroll down, you'll see we now have the first bar, which doesn't fill up all the way, even though we still say 100%, we would have to adjust that. And then the rest of them that do fill up all the way. Now, the way that we adjust the padding on the container causes the text element to also go a little off center. This might be the desired outcome, but maybe you want the text to still be centered even if the bar doesn't go 100% across. So there's another approach we can take to maintain the centering of our text label. Let's jump back over to oxygen and we'll take the padding off of the container and then we'll select the fill element instead and make sure you have the ID selected and not the class. And then we'll go to advanced size and spacing and we're going to add that spacing to the margin here. So 150 pixels of margin. And then just for fun, we'll do a couple of these other ones as well. So we're selecting the fill again, going to advanced size and spacing and we're adding margin. So that's 150. Let's go 200 with this one. And then on the last one, we'll make this like a 90% bar. We'll go to advanced size and spacing and we'll do something like 75. So now we have a nice little staggered effect, but all of our text is still centered. So let's jump back to the front end and we're gonna refresh this page and then we'll scroll down and see that effect. So that's how easy it is to set up a really nice, attractive progress bar type of element on your site using Oxygen. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team and thank you very much for watching.